and make thee an altar unto God, that appeared unto thee when thou fellest from the face of Esau, thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that you hear with him, put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. While trying to rush, I, I forgot my introduction. <laughs> the reason why the Lord sent me here is because Jesus, the Lord, the Lord says I should tell you He's coming any time from now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. The Lord Jesus. Please, those of you there. Please occupy this seat. If you are not having a child, occupy those seats over there. The Lord Jesus says He's coming any time from now. And the Lord is weeping bitterly because most churches cannot make it. Almost all the churches, I'm not just talking about this church, but I'm seeing churches all over the world. Most churches cannot make it. I will say the name of, I'm sure pastors will know, one of the greatest women ministers in Nigeria, I saw in Hellfire. And this is the woman who had been a major soul winner. And you know, me and you, we, we do small, near her. So if that one ended up in hell, then you need to do what? What is this? If you want to make heaven, you have to do everything, everything to make this heaven. Jesus said, I am coming. Don't miss the rapture. Can you make it? Can you make this heaven? Should Jesus come tonight? Can you make it? Church, you need to wake up. The 
enemy is all around us. We need to pray.
Did, they, did you see when he asked them to bring earrings? What did he ask for? Strange God was what they asked for. But when they came, they brought all their what? Earrings. Now, I will, because of time, I will only talk about, I will do a little on strange God and change your garment. Because with me, I have about 50 issues. I thought that I was just dropping one by one, one by one, very fast before, but I will not be able to do that. And unfortunately, most of the things the Lord um, dropped in my heart here are things that are not on the YouTube already. So, but let me just take a um, pick on strange God and be uh, change your garments, okay? Because um, the one from the clean, I have about close to 40 items here that I wanted to drop. And normally, the way the Lord um, uses me is not to bother about the normal things they preach in church. It's the unusual things they don't preach in church. Church, that's where the Lord wants me to concentrate on. So, number one, from this scripture, we understood something here. The hearing were what? Hearing were what? God. Eh? Hearings are what in this scripture? They are strange God. Hearing the what? Strange God. The truth is, when you are talking about earrings, you are talking about everything concerning jewelry. Hello. What am I saying? Everything concerning jewelry is what a strange God. And there are billions of women in hellfire as I speak. In hellfire because of jewelry. Let me tell you, the banker that you are seeing here, I was an actress and I was a model in my teen days. So when it comes to battle, I like it. But as I grew up in my fraternity, I told myself, choose which one you want to do. You want to serve this Jesus? And I told myself, I want to serve this Jesus and I want to make him. And I had to drop. If you go on my YouTube, you see thousands of clothes. And I was also into fashion. I was, I was selling fashion wear, clothes, bags, and most of them designers. So the things I was going away, they are brand, brand new. You know, so sad. I just went to buy a set of slippers because it's always difficult for me to get anything to buy in the market. I will spend a whole week going to the market, I will not find anything to buy because most of them are protected. And after having buy uh, three sets of slippers, they didn't have anywhere. I'll come to that. Let's get that for now. Anyway, earrings. So from here we understand that earrings are what? Strange God. To be very sure, let's go to Exodus 32. Exodus 32, verse. Uh, the people brought up the golden earrings, which were in what? Their ears, and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them as their hands, and fashioned it with what? A graven tool. After he had made it a molten cup, and they said, This be thy word. This be thy word. Aaron said to the children of Israel that this jewelry, this jewelry, their word, your God. And they served that, that God that day. And in the next chapter, the next chapter, 33, Exodus 33, I read from verse 2, Exodus 33 from verse 2, I will send an angel before thee, and I will drive out the Canaan, blah, 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 blah. Go to verse uh, 3. Unto a land flowing with milk and honey, for I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art what a stiff necked people. Least I do what? Least I do what? How many of you have your Bible? Yes. Yes. You have your Bible. Show, show me your Bible. 
If you have your mind, stand up. Okay. That's good. No, no. Now, sit down. Let me tell you something. One of the reasons why many people will not make heaven, number one, they don't have Bible. Eh? Your phone is not your Bible. I hope, I hope, is it holy phone? What is that phone called? Is it holy phone? What is the Bible called? Holy Bible. The phone, you know? Phone, is it holy phone? One of the reasons why many people will not make heaven, they don't have Bible. Do you know what the Bible is? The Word of God. It is Jesus' life. It is Jesus himself, right? If you don't have it, you don't have Jesus. Many of you, you can do it one of 5,000, but you don't have Bible. May God have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Amen. He says, verse, that's three verse. Here was more than That's three. Also, he says, I, God said, I will not go up with you. Why is God saying here that he will not go up with them? And he called them the stiff neck people. Why? Let's see that. why. And when the people had this evil tidings, they mourned, and no man did put on his word. No man did put on his word. Are you not reading the Bible? No man did put on his word. All oh, amen. God is God amen. It's the same thing as jewelry. Why are they not putting on their jewelry? But why? For the Lord has said unto Moses, Say unto the children of Israel, Ye are a sick night people. I will come up into the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Therefore, everybody read, Na- Therefore now, now, everybody, put up thy ornament from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. And the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornament by Mount Horeb. Horeb. God, what did God tell them? Please read up here. What did God tell them? Exactly what? Can you read it? That last piece. Now, do what? Are you even sleeping? Let me help you now. Eh? Don't sleep now. Now, do what? I want you to shout it. Now, do what? Sleep on your own hands. Please, can you tell your neighbor? Am I the one who said it? Can you talk to your neighbor? Shout at your neighbor and tell, tell your neighbor what God says. Now! God says the Lord. Now! Oh yeah? Now! 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 Put up your ornaments. Put up your ornaments. Shout it to your neighbor because some some people know they hear. Eh? Some people know they will wait. They know they hear. Do you have a neighbor? Make sure you are talking to somebody. So we are pointing to somebody. Who are you pointing to? Okay, let me tell her. Put up your ornaments. Now, put up your ornaments. Your Who said it? God. God. Is God still saying it now? Yes. And what are you still doing with the jewelries now? Is still, I'm still looking at the jewelries on you. Is it God like, am I the one saying that? Is it God? Now God is telling you, remove it. What are you doing with it? You see, this is how people will be saved. After I just take this, now I'm telling you, remove your jewelry and after take this, now you are left behind. God forbid, and this is how some people, maybe they don't let church now, God forbid. 
not your portion. Some people don't go and walk around frightened from church to hellfire. Simple instructions. This became a law since that time. And from that time, who made who made the jewelries? Who made who made the gold? Who made the gold? And they sleep for you. And I know you don't sleep, but what did they happen now? Who made the gold? Eh? God. Okay. So why is God angry with the gold he made? The use. Okay. Now can I ask you, who made Satan? Does God God want anything to do with Satan anymore? The way God does not want anything to do with Satan anymore is the way God does not want anything to do with jewelry being used on the body. They can use the jewelry for maybe if you go to uh, uh, Genesis Exodus 35, you 34 and 35, you see the purpose of the jewelry. You see the purpose of jewelry. He, what did God say to them in Egypt? He said the stewards borrow the jewelry. Is that not so? Did he ask them to borrow to come and wear? No! It was for the building of the temple and for the decorations in the temple, not for them to wear. So this is an abuse. In one of the revelations, the Lord said that his daughters are like, I can't remember exactly uh, uh, the way the Lord said it, but he said that they are like uh, mad people. It's like, you know, you pass for that, you know in heaven, it's dreary, they use for roads. So it's like, you pass for that, you know what they call for that? That's they use to make roads. You pack and put on your head. Because that's what Jesus Christ said. He says his daughters are like mad people. The way they put strength on themselves. So number one, no jewelries. You know you want to make heaven. Jewelries is one of the major reasons why many women are in heaven, in hellfire. You know the sad thing? In heaven, in, in, on earth, who they who plays the pass for church? Who plays the pass for church? Women. women are most in churches, but in hellfire, women are the most. In hellfire, women are the most. That's why I'm starting with women problems first. And the Lord is crying bitterly every day. And it's very sad that most of the things are not being taught in, in many churches. Number two, quickly, your hair. What am I saying? Your hair. The Lord says, any woman, any woman that has we want, that has uh, uh, relaxed hair, that has uh, any form of placing of hair, there is no help. Is this is this biblical? Is there any scripture to prove it? Let me show you. First Timothy 2 9. These things are in the Bible, though, but I don't know where, where would they put our hair. What, are, what we are reading, I don't know what we are reading. When I was like that, too, me too, I was like that, too. I was like that. So all these things, these two are doing, these two have, have done them. I've used all of them. Can I see that tonight? Are you there? In like manner also, that women also adorn themselves in modest apparel. Number one, what? Modest apparel. Number two, with shamefacedness. Number three, and sobriety. Number four, not with what? Not with what? Not Not with what? Let me, let me know. Not with what? Can you see that place? Is it your Bible? Not with 
grow it get hair. Grow it get hair, you can destroy any form of plating, whether it's beauty, whether it's a thread, whether it's a rubber, whether it's a cotton, any form of plating of hair, there is no hair on it. Are you hearing me? Any form of plating of hair, there is no hair on it. And that is the reason why many preachers, even women preachers, are in hell. I saw this general of affairs wife in hell. Because of some of these things, you will not end up in hell in Jesus' name. Stand up and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver me from hell. I don't want to be a candidate from hell. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever you have to do so that I don't end up in hell. Do it over in the name of Jesus. 